I want to talk about a book. You want to talk about a book? That we picked up. Oh, oh. The Art of Todd McFarlane art has of come out recently. Todd McFarlane. And we met Todd McFarlane at New oh York Comic Con. Oh my gosh. Last I want to hear about this. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did. Feel, I was like, when we were talking about New York Comic Con, I was like, oh shit, I forgot about Todd McFarlane. But no, we, we didn't forget. We <laughs> didn't forget. I, I, forget. I need to put my sh myself on blast right now. I'm going to put my shit on blast. Okay. I've never been the biggest Todd McFarlane fan. You know, I haven't. But I either. also. Shame on you. I know. I, you know but you guys well, got I, me into a couple of things. What's that? Uh, what? The Image Revolution oh, documentary. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. We were supposed to talk about that. We'll, well we save can. it for another we time. We'll talk about it. Yeah, we'll Image Revolution is a documentary that came out uh, last year or the year before. So, talking about Image Comics. Right. Talking yeah. about Let's bring that up. how there was a huge revolution in the uh, early 90s when all the great artists moved over and formed Image. Which I am totally a, guilty of talk, shit talking all the 90s. Sure. Well, I mean, but this is a really exciting documentary that really just does, uh, as a filmmaker myself, a better job than you would expect you know anyone to make yeah, it put it's things super in perspective engaging. oh absolutely seriously put things in perspective it was so engaging like and it was funny because they they did interview all the people who were involved right with you know the beginning of image and so you have all of them telling their stories about each other which was really funny where you have like Liefeld doing and uh, an impression of Todd McFarlane all, and it's yeah. like it's and so and I'm good telling you guys, like, talk, that, talk about this book and then I want to tie it all in together with uh, the image revolution well okay so yeah. when we met Todd yeah. McFarlane he was coming into the hotel and and he just uh, happened to be staying at the ho same like, hotel as oh, we were look it's Todd McFarlane she never finds people I always spot I people. never <laughs> see anybody um, <laughs> hey I'm and the creepy guy that totally will Google and she's image like, like what? my favorite writers. and I'm like hey Todd what's up and he looked over, like, like I said oh, it like hey. I knew him. Yeah, yeah. And then he was like, he looked at us like, oh, and, hey. And I, I looked at him, I was like, we don't actually know you. We just, like, <laughs> we, like, you know. So, yeah, so he walked over like he knew us. And uh, I was like, oh, hey, I've been a fan of yours since I was uh, 10 years old, you yeah, know. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so we struck up conversation. And then he, we because talked to him for, like, 30 minutes. Really, he was really he was cool. My favorite, he was my favorite Spider-Man artist. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know I get shit for that, but that's the truth. No, yeah. no, I love yeah. his Spider-Man work. Um, but, uh, you know, he, we ended up even talking to him about business stuff. and yeah. like. Tell him like all the projects that we're doing, and I told her this is told him this is a comic book teen. We're starting a bunch of new projects and stuff yeah. like that, and uh, we're, we're working with these companies. And then he started talking about his business experience, and he gave us all this advice. About oh, always following your gut and it stuff. It was magical. Yeah. It was ma like Todd McFarlane was like, always follow your gut, and he like poked me. It was so great. I was just like, <laughs> I will like forever. McFarlane, well, McFarlane strikes me like he's a character just like Stan Lee is. Dude, he's oh, a absolutely. super like, character. He's like, and, but that's him on 11 all the time. He oh yeah, he's always be. on, and I told him, yes. you know, in that documentary, The Image Re Revolution, you were the best one in the documentary. He's like, oh no, Rob's pretty good. I was like, yeah, Rob was really good too. Rob, Rob's yeah, pretty well, good he's in that funny, too. But, but them back and forth was a really good Well, it's they have rapport. a brotherly dynamic where yeah. it's like Todd's kind of like a the older brother who kind of talks shit to his, like, you know, Know, but they keep pushing each other rope. up a little bit, but I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Forces but, them to be you know, better. Even though I don't necessarily love the early Image comics, I'm not necessarily into all that. And even though I don't really love Todd McFarlane's art, or I'm not into Spawn. Right. Were, were, were you I even do... banging back then during that time? <laughs> we, I was, thank you very much. Uh, but I, I was doing indies because I wasn't into all this stuff. Um, but what I will yes. say about Todd McFarlane is that I really admire him as a business person, as a creative business professional, mm -hmm. and I admire what he's done for the comic book industry, because if it wasn't for him being fucking pissed that he was getting fucked over by Marvel, like every other artist we, and every other history we, of we fucking Marvel or DC. We wouldn't have any of the stuff DC, that we just talked about right now. We wouldn't have any of this stuff. Like, Image Comics is still around today, and even though it's turned into something different that they originally necessarily planned, it's even better yeah. than what they could have that business with. plan that they came up with, look at this. I mean, look at the, the amazing artists and writers yeah. that they have like cultivated. Yeah. They're bringing over Jeff Lemire and Brian K. Vaughn and Rick Remender to create their own stories that you can never, ever get in mainstream like yeah, continuity Walking comics. Dead, I mean, what a fucking success story yeah. that is. I mean, and, yeah. And the documentary does a good job of, of bringing up that point towards the end of uh, you know what Image has turned they into now. They did a now. great job yeah. of bringing it. In, yeah. in the documentary, they bring in Robert Kirkman. Yeah. And how Robert oh, yeah. Kirkman talks <laughs> about uh, no, Image is still the reason why I am now working yeah. with them independently. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was so cool how they brought that all back together. And like that's how they kind of started uh, literally the Image Revolution, not to get like horny on it, but like they set a new dynamic, a new paradigm yeah. for the comic book industry. Absolutely. I mean, they were artists. And like this is the thing that a lot of people don't realize is that comic book artists have historically always been fucked over. Artists and writers. They've yeah. always been fucked over Because it's work Marvel for hire. You don't own anything you that you do. You don't own anything, do. and you're fucked over at the end of the day. Even if you fucking create like their biggest character, it's like, fuck you. Mm -hmm. um, and so, and the thing is, is like a lot of artists 
we we want we just want to work you yeah. know it's like artists just want to work it's like i just want to like draw stuff and and just make things and so because of that a lot of artists are willing to get fucked over be, yeah. just to do what they love because they genuinely love drawing you wouldn't be doing this because you feel you like it's just a it. privilege that now you're working at marvel exactly or and, in dc and or... i love that he was like no <laughs> like <laughs> Fuck this. Like, and not many artists have the balls to do something yeah. like that. Like, he just, and he really believes in himself. Like, I, I, he's just so confident, and he's just, like, fucking willing to take yeah. a risk. Well, him along it, with the other image uh, well, yeah, yeah. creators, too. But he too. started it. I mean, he was the one who's, like. He was the most vocal. His anger. And, and yeah. the great thing is that. <laughs> As opposed to Jim Lee, who's, like, very kind and nice about it all. Yeah. Well, Jim Lee was the last to get on board. I mean, they begged yeah. him to come on with them. He's like, we need you. Like, but, this is. Yeah, one of the best parts of that entire documentary is. Like, them going into the room, like, okay, so we're doing this. Like, right yeah. now, let's do this. Yeah. And I love the fact you can tell, like, everyone who tells their version of the story was like, you mean we can just quit? Like, yeah, we're like, actually we're able just to, gonna we can do that? Say fuck you? <laughs> like, well, I, I love that in the documentary, like, they, they said, they all went in, and they're like, fuck you, Marvel. Fuck you. Yeah. And then they went across the street to DC, and they were like, hey, guess what? Fuck you too. <laughs> like you know, like they don't even work for fucking DC. Equal they went over there, and they were just yeah. like, nah. You know, this is the fucking deal. Like you too. You're letting everybody and, know what the fucking and deal again, is. And again, I have to like, I I have to check myself. New information mm -hmm. has made me change my my opinion of things, yeah. which is allowed, by the way. Absolutely. That's Rob, called evolution, dude. That's fucking. Rob fine. Liefeld was 25. Dude. He was 25. Oh, they were all super running young. His own yeah. studio and having employees yeah. and like. Dude. Crazy. And they were living like rock stars. Yeah. They really were in the news. Well, they were children, they were, yeah. 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 I mean, oh, by the I, way, I just found hard. out I just found out that the Image Revolution was a Kickstarter project that was successfully backed. Oh. I'm so glad about I that. I didn't realize yeah. that. Awesome. And uh, it's available online. It's some kind of hard to find. If you Google it really good, you'll find I, it. I, I had to... Yeah, it was very hard to find. Yeah. yeah. Um, but and it needs to get on Netflix or something. Another thing about Todd McFarlane that's really interesting is that he also saw a hole in the market with toys and was like... Yeah, toys suck and, balls. Yeah. Like, let's fucking make some real fucking toys. Absolutely. And like, and he's like, yeah, he was one of the first per people to come out with good looking, detailed well, toys. It's like not and only now that's everything. Not only did he revolutionize e everything, comics, and everything how, in Kamikaze. Yeah, Tim, sorry. Didn't, didn't well, not only did he revolutionize comics and like owning, you know, people their own there owning their own there IPs, he also set a new standard for fucking toys and, yeah. and action figures, which it's like. Wow, you really set the bar high for like more than one industry in your lifetime. Like, what a force to be reckoned with. I have that one. By the way, Spawn <laughs> is now up to issue number like two hundred and seventy, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I had this one. I loved this you one. Have, was this, this all like the cyber manga? Like, yeah, Kabuki's? yeah. Yes. And he had these like weird little masks all over him. I was like, I don't even give a fuck about Spawn, but cool. I was like, this I is actually a fucking had the, cool uh, toy. I had the Spawn, uh, the McFarlane toys. If it was Todd toys for a minute. But yeah. uh, I had the hockey action figures. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, cool. I, I he had did the, sports stuff. That was great. I had the Aussie action figure, the Alice Cooper action figure. Like, <laughs> I had, oh, um, yeah. I had, oh, they I had were the coming Rob out. Zombie one. I had uh, Ash. Still do. I had Ash, Evil Dead Ash one. Uh, or no, Army of Darkness. Uh, but he had good Ash, Ash and Evil Ash. And yeah. I remember the Evil Ash was actually really hard to get. Um, I, I don't like Evil Ash. I no one does. Ash. I want Evil Ash. Ash. <laughs> but, uh, get Ash. Get Ash. Anyway, yeah, and <laughs> of, the, of the original Image comics, superhero comics, uh, Spawn and the Savage Dragon, I think, are the only ones that are still going. Yeah, and Eric Larson right. just and he's still Eric Larson does too. It. Yeah, he just loves his character. He just wanted he's to like, tell I, stories with his character. You know, I, I picked up the Savage Dragon character. the other day at the store, and I was like, "How come nobody's talking about the fact that Eric Larson is here doing this?" So, I think all he wants to do is just keep making that yeah. comic for yeah. the people who care about it. He's tried and true. I I love it. I love it. But yeah, so that to talking to Tom McFarland was really cool. Um, at uh. Yeah. I yeah, should have told great. him. I should have told him my thing about Rob Liefeld though. Rob Liefeld called me a groupie. That would have been funny. He would have been. I'm sure he'd uh, been like, "Oh, he's such an idiot." Oh, like you know. All right, let's not tell I, that story. I can only I can only apologize for him so many times. Yeah, yeah. So I'll talk to the kid about it. Yeah. Okay. Todd was so cute. That was though. my worst Todd McFarlane impersonation. He Forgive me. He was so funny. Yeah, was, get Rob Liefeld on that. He was telling um, me about contracts. He was telling me about all. Yeah. Funny. So um, we'll, we've we've got more to talk about image revolution in the future and image comics in the yeah. future video. I'm sure. So is there anything else that we need to talk about? Do we wrap it up? Hmm. That was pretty, I mean, I'm actually really excited that, it, again, if you're a new reader, there's something out there for you. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next yeah. week. Woo! Bye! Woo!